Bell. Sorry guys, I didn't film yesterday. So I had originally planned a fishing video. We went out on the water and it was freezing cold. Could barely even film. I was in my kayak, so I was being blown around. Didn't even have any chance to film. So in today's video, we're gonna be clean, filming cleaning the pet room. So a lot of people may not like this. If you don't, I'll see you tomorrow on tomorrow's video. But if you guys do, let me know because, so I just thought of this, right? So I have to do so many things. Moving preparation's coming, so I'm I'm trying to paint like pictures, so I'm painting like this Mizu thing. I'm gonna put my profile picture here and hang it up there, cover that spot. And moving it with animals is stressful. And then moving in it by in itself is very stressful. So I thought, hmm, I have to clean my animal room either way or my bedroom. Um, so why not just make a video out of it? Um, I posted this on my Discord. If you've not already, join them with the link in the description. And a lot of people said this is a great idea. So we're going to be doing it, guys. Um, and I'm also going to show you probably me giving OJ another salt bath. I might give him another salt bath. Um, as you guys can see, the scales have gotten a little bit better if my camera would focus, but they're still pretty bad. Um, so I'm probably going to give him another shot bath. And we're going to do a water change on Crush's tank. And do some algae maintenance on 10 gallon. Vacuum my floor. Make my bed. Um, probably work on Coco's tank a little bit. It's like fix up these pothos leaves and fix up the sticks and stuff. Um, we got to mist down this tank. And we have to feed all the feeder insects. So... Yeah, if you guys and we're gonna wipe down the desk and clean the glass and all our tanks. So if you guys are enjoy if you guys are in for this type of video, grab your popcorn, grab your soda. It's gonna be about a 15 minute video. So uh maybe you could uh, guys can even clean along with me. Um but yeah, we're gonna be cleaning my air room. Let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my bucket and work on water change and then algae. I'm gonna do a time lapse, but I'm also gonna um film me like how I do it and stuff. Um, and then we're going to work on some other stuff. So, yeah, I'll see you guys once I get the bucket. Hey, guys, so we got my bucket. We got my siphon. And we also have this little airline tubing. So, I'm going to be um, siphoning out the water from this guppy tank. As you guys can see, this baby fry tank, they're getting so big. But we're going to suck out the bottom stuff. Then we're going to move to a crusher's tank. And then we're going to move to this tank for algae. Um, like I said, I hope you guys got your popcorn or if you guys are cleaning along with me. Um, so, we got this little syringe here. Sometimes I use this. But I think today... I'm going to see if I can like work on sucking the water out here and seeing if I can get it to go in the bucket. I doubt that's gonna work because the tank is lower than the bucket, but it never hurts to give it a try. So yeah, I'm gonna set up a time lapse of me doing that. That's done. You guys can see it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. You guys can see how much dirt was in that water. It's pretty bad. Um, the airline tubing didn't really work, so I just recommend if you're gonna do this with the fry tank, just use a little syringe. It will take longer, but you get the job done quicker. If that makes any sense, like it takes longer, but it will also it's just better to do. Um, so that's the first thing I'm gonna do. And then the next thing I think I'm going to work on is water change on Crush's tank. But I'm going to set up the camera guys and show you like how I pick up Crush. Um, just because I have got a lot of questions about that. So I'm just going to show you guys real quick. I'm going to set up the camera. Sorry guys, it's not the best of an angle. But I'll try to lead her um, towards you guys so you guys can see a better like what I do and like how I do it. So what you're going to want to do. So you guys can kind of see yours. I like to, I don't like to, some people grab them by the side of the shell. I like to grab her like this guy so you guys can kind of see. She doesn't freak out as much. If you just grab her behind the shell, she won't really freak out. I don't know if you guys can see. She doesn't really freak out at all. If you hold her like this where you just support their tail. And then I'm just going to let her down. And this way her claws can't really scratch me or anything. And so that's the way I do it. But I just got a lot of questions so I just want to make that clear and make sure you guys know. Now we're gonna get on to this water change. Okay guys, so we just did a water change in this tank. Now it's time to fill it up. And by the way, the reason I'm showing you raspberries, Crush absolutely loves strawberries and raspberries. I don't know what is up with them, but 
her, but she absolutely loves strawberries and raspberries, and you guys can see. That's what she does all day. She just kind of soaks up the sun. Um, don't worry, she will be getting a bigger tank, guys. Um, when we move, like I already said. Um, but this tank is fine for her for now, guys. Like I said, snapping turtles are not that active, but when she gets older, I think I'll be putting her in a 100-gallon um, stock tank and then a pond. Um, definitely a pond, but in the summer, she's gonna, I mean, winter, she's gonna have to come into a stock tank. But she will be out in a pond um, for now. But yeah, guys, I'm just gonna fill up this tank and I'll cut back to you guys when it's time for this tank. Let's just put the water in. It's a decent amount so that he can lay on the bottom. I mean, she, she, and um, she can also, you saying to like and subscribe? You put text on the screen? How are you editing this video now, Crush? Okay. Um, but you guys can see she is on a weight loss diet. You guys can see she kind of chunky. Not feed um that doesn't mean I'm not feeding her. I'm just feeding her low fat foods but high protein. Um protein's good for their shell. So you guys can see she's got a little bit of pyramiding. Um I don't know why. She has a UVB light, she has a basking light. Um and the water conditions are pretty good. The reason they're um off like this is because first of all, you need to add a rifty safe. That's exactly why I actually picked up the camera just to show you guys that. Make sure you add the Erecti safe. Make sure your straw is like not all the way over the Erecti safe or it won't come out. For some reason, my Erecti safe is not coming out of its bottle. Look at this, guys. I'm gonna see if I can fix this and I'll catch back to you guys pretty shortly. Okay, guys, didn't actually figure out what was going on with the Erecti safe. But, um, whatever. So, next thing we're going to want to do is put everything back that you're using, by the way, guys. And now, since we're not using this siphon or anything anymore today, I'm going to go, um, wash out this bucket and then put the siphon back downstairs. And I'll get back to you guys when it's time to scrape the algae off this. Um, if you guys are still here, comment down below if you're watching this with your animal. And if you're not watching this with your animal, comment down below. Are you eating something when watching this? Cause I, or are you cleaning along with me? Cause normally when I watch these videos, I clean along with the person and I'm eating something. So just let me know. Crush or has already told you to like and subscribe. And now she's telling you to join the discord link in the description. Um, but yeah, you guys can see this tank is getting very clear since I've had this filter. She's definitely pretty big for this tank, but guys don't worry. Um, she's not that active and also I take her outside almost every day so do not worry guys and like I said she is getting a pond pretty soon um so now I'm gonna dump out this bucket and I'll see you guys when it's time for this tank guys yeah, so we're over here with the toothbrushes that I use for algae don't even question guys it used to be an electronic toothbrush I took the batteries out and this is all I'm gonna do to take the algae off I don't take it off the back just so the um fish can actually have something to eat I mean um yeah some of the fish like it but also the snails two snails in here um they're right so this is all I do Scrub it off the front, and as you guys can see, as long as you catch it pretty soon, it comes off pretty easily. Um, you guys can see that just is coming right off. And I just clean the front, like I said, um, just because the front's where you look at the back and the side. Yeah, it bothers me, but guess what? That is for the snail's job because if you clean them you won't have any food to eat so now that i clean that guys i am going to get back to you when i'm on the next thing okay guys now that we've dealt with those two enclosures and as you guys can see um squirts enclosure does not need any help i actually dealt with this yesterday um it does probably need a little bit of help as you guys can see the carpet is kind of like it's a carpeting plant it's kind of like shooting it's off shoot but like in the air not on the ground so i'm gonna have to fix that we got the snail doing some work i might do a quick water change on this you guys can see that foams from filter but i might do a quick water change on this just to get the, some of the debris out might also leave it because the snail likes to eat it um so i'm gonna get this foam out guys and i'll be back to you guys guys now that we got the foam out i think i'm just gonna organize this just a little bit more and we're gonna see if Clark wants to eat this raspberry guys so we're gonna grab it Let's see, guys, if... She, there you guys go. She is working on eating. She just bit it, guys. She's going to bite the tongue so she ain't the brightest. When the food falls below her, she doesn't realize the food's still there. She kind of have to, like, hold it. See, guys, she wants it. She loves raspberries. But you kind of have to, like, pull on it, and then she'll take pieces from it. So, 
you guys can see, she absolutely loves it. She loves strawberries more, but it's almost half gone, guys. So, you guys hear noise in the background. My parents are talking, but we did arrange. We tried to fix this up, guys. We're going to work on fixing this up a little bit more. So we're going to like this. Put it here, and then put all our fish food like right great. Up front. It's not gonna look the best, but it has to look decent. Um, just like that, guys. And then we can put our tools for our aquarium. We can just slide them. Our nets. And then we can slide this back under. Now that's done, guys. We don't need this string anymore. But now, um, we've already done this. Probably gonna wipe this desk down, but we're gonna wipe stuff down last. Um, so the next thing we're gonna wanna work on is I'm going to organize all my pet stuff down here so it shouldn't be hard guys it's gonna take me a few seconds you guys can see like i have a ton of animal stuff and we're just gonna like put it in its place like literally i'll do it right now so we're just gonna have this you just don't want it all thrown in here see how it kind of looks all thrown in here you don't i don't like it like that i like like everything to have its own place and everything to fit in here nice so that's what we're doing i'm just gonna arrange it like this guys just so everything fits in here without everything having to be squished, if that makes any sense. As you can see, I just want it like this. Just so it's nice, nothing's too squished, and everything's just standing up. You can see we want food just like that. Just like that, guys, and then you want Pangea dishes just like this so we can grab Coco's food. That's all set up. All the crickets and the bugs are good for sure. They're all good, guys. I'm just gonna slide this back. If I could actually slide it back under there. We go and now guys all we have left to do is i'm gonna wipe off these desks and then i'm gonna vacuum and then i'm gonna be editing this video so i'm gonna see you guys i'm gonna see you guys when i'm start wiping off these desks this is my desk area where i edit what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move these rags just got some um rags and i'm just gonna spray this with vinegar guys and just a light coating and i'm just letting it sit here for like a minute and that's what i do with all my desks guys Let's so sit here, do this. Now guys, what's gonna happen? So all this, you're gonna wipe the first one you started with. And then, if you come back to all the ones you just did, they won't be dry yet. But if you were to start with the one you just last sprayed, the one you started with would be dry, if that makes any sense. If you want the vinegar to dry, this is just a cleaning solution. Just this is what I use if my reptiles like poop or anything. Um, because sometimes I let no one here and I never know what he's doing. So yeah, we're just gonna give it a quick wipe. Especially with all the stuff going around, guys. And then sometimes I'll wipe the tanks, guys. If there's any smears, but you know, Noah's tanks looking great. And then we're gonna do over here. Sorry guys, if you don't like this type of video, I got some people in my Discord saying sure, some people saying no, so. Sorry guys, if you don't like this type of video, but comment down below video ideas. If you don't like this, comment down some video ideas, but yeah, we're just gonna clean this guys. You guys can see that we're just going to scrub it like this. Definitely do crush this glass. You guys can see how it's already looking 10 times clean. You guys can see this is already looking so much cleaner than it already did guys and now we're gonna move on to the last part which is vacuuming so i'm gonna move everything out of my room probably set up a quick time lapse of me vacuuming and then we're gonna end this video roll the epic vacuuming montage now <laughs> pet room is officially clean guys if you want me to do a video on this painting in my zoo logo comment down below um i don't know i might not do a video i might do a video on it but that's going to be going in my new room but guys the pet room is now officially clean so hope you guys did enjoy today's video hope you guys learned something from it or maybe even cleaned your own pet room or just chilled and relaxed because i know it is pretty relaxing to watch somebody else clean especially after you just cleaned or something so i hope you guys did enjoy if you did drop a like smash that subscribe button join my discord and now i'm gonna sit right here editing this video so i'll see you on the next one make sure you're ready so much peace i'm out